up, YouTube? It's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs. It is a big day here today. It's Saturday again. I'm going to keep saying it because that's how happy I am. The new schedule is amazing, guys. I went to the barber for my beard and not this, but I got home. I'm home like 5.05. Walked in here, kind of check, do my daily rounds, check on the girls I'm expecting from, check out the stranger boy to make sure he's not doing anything stupid in there. Oh, speaking of which, actually, I've got to check in here. Let's see if we got a new parent. And no, we don't. Okay. I don't know why, but these girls don't like, these two pie girls up here don't like the Aussie pie boy. This is what it is. We'll move on from that. Anyway, guys, so that being said, I came in here, checked on two girls expecting clutches from, and sure enough, guys, this is the first time ever that Blue Line Morse has ever had two clutches in one day. All right, guys? We're at... First clutch was M1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're at five clutches already for the year, guys. We had all eight of last year. You didn't make the face, Frankie. We're cranking, guys. Listen, everything's starting to come together, man. All the hard work, the dedication, the selling assets, selling things, and kind of going through the process is all starting to go together now. With that being said, like I said, two clutches in one day, but one of them is very special. So this, we're going to talk about the first clutch, pull that clutch, and then honestly, guys, there's going to be a whole video dedicated to the second girl. I'll show her quickly to you. I'm very happy about her laying a clutch. You guys, if you follow my channel, you know exactly who she is, okay? That's my Luna girl. We're going to talk about that next Saturday's video. This video is going to be for Wednesday, so I'll probably have the same shirt on that has my beautiful Luna girl, who's probably the sweetest snake in the world. But with that being said, let's put this back real quick, guys. I don't know how many eggs she's hiding right there, but it looks like one, two, three, four, probably about seven, eight, seven or eight eggs, okay, guys? So we're going to get a full count for your next video, which is part two of this video. We're going to talk all about why that clutch is so important to me, what it means to me, and kind of the full turnaround that we've had here at Blue Light Morph. But with that being said, not only is it two clutches in one day, yes, I drank coffee, yes, I had a pre-workout today, but... I believe that clutch down there is the most eggs ever out of one clutch. In fact, these two egg boxes are set up for both these girls. But I'm thinking I might need to split that clutch into two different egg boxes and go from there. So that being said, this is the biggest clutch we've ever actually had from one of our biggest girls. Okay. Actually, let me show you the mail real quick. If you guys... Oh, fuck no. He's paired up over there. Can't even show him to you. He's that Coral Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave mail. Um, paired over here to this pastel pinstripe champagne girl you now again i know people are going to ask how come they're over here on paper and not coco that's because if you look over there there is no look right down there there's no ventilation in that rack okay unlike the ars 5540 i have here you have little air holes okay that's why it's on there because as you can see there's still a shit ton of condensation and humidity in there you're not feeling fucking you're not too happy right now huh, mama bear this girl i got from my buddy aaron at a collier reptile another fellow cop I'm pointing over here, Frank. Pointing over here. All right, let's, let's pull her. Let's do our thing. She kind of already, not really on him. She's not a first time mom. She is a proven breeder. Uh, she bled for him two years ago. Let's get her out of the way. Let's make sure she's clean and good to go for us. Yeah, well, she's still fucking huge, ain't she? She's a big girl. In a very bad mood. Yeah, she's not striking though, but she kind of a DTD on me too, but let's put her back in the good old holding tub of Pregnant ex pregnant mom. I don't know something. All right. What do we got here? Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. All right. So we tied our biggest clutch. Fuck. I thought for sure we had, uh, I thought we had 12. I looked quickly for the video. I was kind of excited about that. Damn. All right. Fuck. I lied to you guys, but I think we might've got 20 eggs today. I think she got eight eggs underneath there. Not entirely sure. We'll figure that out in part two. But we're going to talk all about that. I'm going to get sappy about that video. This will be, I think this will be Wednesday's video, Frankie. It'll be Wednesday's video. Either way, guys, it is Saturday the 16th. And we've, oh, quick update. The egg right here. Is, can you see right here, Frankie? I know that it's kind of in the way. That front egg right there. I'll open it up just because, oh, my fat ass. We'll open it up real quick. This is the clutch we pulled. That is the egg we put the tape on, and the egg's doing phenomenal, guys. It's only been two or three days, but of course, I would expect it to be bad already if uh, there was, in fact, something bad. Now, with that being said, Frank, you smell that, you smell that like, decay in there a little bit? Mm. That clutch I didn't help my buddy out with, I had to throw one egg out. It was going bad. Uh, the other ones look okay, but like two of them look like they're gonna go. I still think he should get about four or five snakes out of that clutch. We're holding on. Let's pull these guys. Let's get them wrapped up. Let's get them candled. It should be a pretty good job for us, huh, Frank? Kind of all just laid out right there. So not we're gonna... like, Not like the other day. Oh, God. You know what's funny is I, I, I texted Ozzy. 
I let him know what I did. He's like, why are you ripping eggs apart? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, you know what I'm gonna do? I think we could put this. Can I do this, Frankie? What do you think? I think I can pick all these up. Of course, stuck to the paper. Oh gosh. Are you fucking for real? So the paper should come off nice and easy. All right, let's do this. I think I'm gonna pick them up from right in here. What do you think? That's fine. All right? Frankie, okay. Frankie's been breeding ball pythons for 40 years now, guys, so he okays it and we're gonna be good. Well, I'll tell you right now, the paper is just gonna dissolve. It's gonna be so humid in there. You're not wrong. Like, I can, like these right here, these are not like the other day, bro. I wonder if she, oh, I wonder if the other day she like kicked out those eggs like soon as I left. You know what I'm saying to you? Mm. Because they were like stuck together, stuck together. Actually, Billy mentioned breathing on them like hot air, but I can't find actually, guys, we're good here. She might have just laid these. If you look, she didn't even coil them up yet. You notice that? Yeah. So she might have just pushed them out. Oh my goodness. What? That's awesome. Yeah, they're coming apart nice and easy, Frank. Ever since, I'm like gun shy now, guys. Now, we do have 11, so we only have 10 spots. So we might have to crowd one up a little bit here. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Looking good. Plump, big eggs. Now she, again, she did have a year off. Now, he was pairing her before I got her. But that was a long time ago. About a year and a half ago, he was pairing her. She didn't lay from last year. So we know what we, lay, we, we bred her to. Now, are we going to have a dual side clutch? I don't think so, but you never know. So we'll find out, I guess, in the future. But anyway, guys, let's keep pulling these. Damn, Frankie, yeah, I really thought we were gonna get uh, 12 eggs. I thought for sure. I looked in real quick. I counted quickly. I really can't count all that well, man. Especially not Queens cops. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know what? Maybe I'll just put one over here. What do you think? That's what I'll do. That's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna take this one. Make sure you notate. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little marker on it. That's what we're gonna have to do. Cause they're they're all being. You know, I, I just monitor, but they are kind of being put in the incubator the same exact day, the same exact time, you know? I think we'll be good. That's what I'm going to do. Instead of trying to, like, try to try to cram one in there. All right, so next is what we're going to do, Frankie. We're going to put this over here out of our way. And then we're going to candle these. Mark that one. Let's see how we're doing, Frank. Now, again, he, he's, he's signed a lot of clutches for me. And she is... Don't move. Let me see your hands. So she... Uh, and, you know, she had a year off. She's a proven breeder. So I anticipate, yeah, so yeah, I, I kind of figured we would have uh, nice veins across the board with this clutch. Can you see my fat hands in the way, Frankie? You're in the way. I'm coming over here. All right, oh, now I can see it. Do you good? They look good. Hell yeah. Oh, look at that. Look, you see the embryo right there? Yeah. All right? Did you guys look at what the embryo looks like? There you go. Take a level. If you move, it'll slightly move a little bit. But you want that to be on the very top. So I've noticed if you look, see the embryo? So if you see the veins, the veins will all kind of be pointing. Like right here, you see how this is like white? But then if you rotate here, check it out. Ah, boom. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. So the embryo's right there. Good. Move that one. So you see the thing is right here. Move it a little bit. This clutch is looking phenomenal, Frankie. Definitely got to rotate these eggs, though. See that. Look at those veins, huh? Isn't it amazing? If you noticed how uh, we have like our first time layers, how first time mothers, they kind of don't have the greatest veins in the world. You know what I'm saying? But these, these old timers, I guess you could say. Oh, this thing is kind of, I would say you're right. What's that? Right there, right? That's the paper. <laughs> oh. But if you look. Yeah, right there, you see it? Mm-hmm. Am I wrong, right? No, there's the veins and everything. So put that right there. All right, you look pretty good. Isn't that kind of interesting, Frankie? How if you notice, let's, let's mark that egg so we don't get confused with my little girl. We're gonna, we're gonna film the video with right now. I guess I'll, I'll put, I'll literally write champ, right? You want champ? Hmm. Champagne. I don't think that's how you spell champagne. Again, cops can't read or write most of the time. We can't really do math, so. It is what it is, guys. With that being said, pretty solid clutch. I'm happy with that. I, I really kind of thought we were going to have uh, more than 11 eggs last year. My core glow. Black Hassel Trick Mojave Boy. I love him. He's phenomenal. Makes sick babies. Went to that big old spider girl, and she kicked out, I believe, 10 or 11 eggs. I think it was 11 eggs. I'm going to check my notes. It might be the biggest clutch. I think it was 11 eggs, though. I think I had to split that clutch up, so I think it was 11 eggs. I thought for sure we are going to get lucky here and kind of have uh, a 12-egger. But we did not. With that being said, though, no big deal. Solid clutch. 
Sick veins across the board because she is a proven breeder and she's not a retired mom. She's probably three or four years old. She was, she was a mama Luke. She was like 3,800 grams or some shit. Um, she's probably still 2,500 grams, something like that. But that being said, sick veins across the board. Very happy about the fact she really make us rip them apart. And now that I kind of took a few of those apart, I kind of think the other egg, which we showed you, is doing well. Um, I think they were stuck together. They were sitting there for a long time. With that being said, guys, again, first time, two clutches in one day. That's a milestone and stuff. I'm very happy about that. But we're going to do part two now, Frankie and I. So I'm wearing the same clothes. I'm not a dirtbag. He's going to hit the button shortly. We're going to continue on in part two. We're going to explain why this second clutch of the day is, quote, unquote, my redemption clutch. And it kind of is me making up for my first and my biggest mistake I've ever had. So listen, guys, I appreciate you watching. My, my video tonight should be popping up in 23 minutes. I, I love you guys. We're building this channel. We're closing on 10,000 subscribers. We're at like 76 and change, give or take. So I, I just paid another couple months. We'll be there. I really appreciate it, guys. We're moving and cranking along. My newfound schedule is amazing, guys. I love you. Let me get some cellophane on this shit or my what they call it, press and seal on this. Let's get them in the incubator. Let's pull this second clutch. And let me explain to you guys this video is Wednesday for you. So Saturday, we're going to explain exactly why this clutch is probably one of the most meaningful clutches of my 2022 season. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate it. Be safe. Watch the six.